the town just has too much money, they're overcharging, they don't need to go raise taxes two and a half percent. If you have a two million dollar free cash situation at the end of the year, that money should be given back to the, the taxpayers. Is, well, is that short-sighted? Uh, I think it's a bit myopic, right? I, I think that um, if you look at it, one, if, if we were to turn all the free cash back, uh, you know, we wouldn't have a solid budget number each year because the number is never the same year to year. Uh, but you could make an argument. I don't know how successful it would be because I would tell you, one, we pay for snow out of that free cash, right? So if we have a $1.75 million year in snow costs, right, um, that's going to come out of free cash. Uh, 1,500,000 of that will be paid out of free cash. You would be taking that away from us, and then we'd have an obligation to the state uh, to pay that back within two years. So the second part of this and really has to do with our capital programs. The town does borrow money. But we like to make sure when we're borrowing money, we're borrowing it for the right things. We're borrowing it for items that are of significant cost, right? That it presents a better value to the town maybe to make payments over 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, depending on what it is. Now, when we talk about the high school, we're talking about 30 years, right? Uh, and that's something that the budget today cannot handle. But we're working hard to get the budget ready to handle in the event uh, we get a you know, refurbish or a new high school uh, based on our, you know, ongoing discussions with MSBA. Our job is to make sure that we have that. The town in the past would borrow for small items. Without that free cash, we can't pay in cash for those items. There is a need for every dollar, right? Your taxes are going to go up every year. In North Attleboro, if you live in North Attleboro, I can promise you this. Because of Proposition 2.5, it's automatic. It will happen every year, right? And the amount you pay is going to be based on the assessed value of your property, right? So that's the formula that does it. So when you get that, it's going to end up creating a situation whether or not you have an increase, right? Not of, you know, going less, but of how much. And it's going to happen. The, the town council could ask for less money, but what happens if they do that, the levy would be uh, different one year, and you might have a what would appear like a double increase the following year because they would have to take a formal underwrite and do an underwrite to change it, right? But it gives us the opportunity to pay in cash for items and projects that we have today that we would not otherwise have. And this is why our credit rating in the, in the town has gone to double A positive. We've had an increase in the credit. And if you don't think that's important, look at what the Federal uh, Reserve is doing to interest rates now. 